Welcome in, welcome in, my ASVAB party people. Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And you may have seen this type of question once or twice on a practice test of the real deal. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over this for you today. So before we begin, remember I do host a free weekly class. That's right, a free weekly ASVAB class is two hours long. Typically they're on Monday nights, but this week it's on a Tuesday night. So if you're watching this video today on Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day, by the way, Tomorrow's class is the free one. We are not having a class tonight. Just want to make sure I remind y'all about that. And if you want to sign up for it, go ahead and click the link somewhere around here in the description of this video. It's going to be there. So make sure, click that link, sign up. It comes with a free practice test with video solutions. That way you can grow from every single mistake. That's how we do things here. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's ace the ass back. So the question here is, if two to the power of X equals 64, What's X? Okay, so this is one of the most confusing problems for a lot of folks, but it's actually one of the most straightforward ones. I mean, we can get more complicated than this. This is just a, a basic example of the overall type of problem, but this is all about exponents. This is all about exponents. So one more time, what we're reading here is, okay, we have two to some power equals 64. That's what we see, right? Two to some power. Now, all you have to ask yourself is, look, we're looking for x. What is x being included in? Yes, there's an equation right there. Uh, and then we see that there's an exponent. x is an exponent. So the question is, well, how do exponents work? Remind yourself really quickly. How do exponents work? And the answer to that is, well, if you have a number at the bottom, the base, whatever number is in the exponent, that's how many times you're gonna multiply that number by itself. We have to ask ourselves these questions because when you ask yourself leading questions, you can lead yourself to the answer. One more time, when you ask yourself leading questions, you can lead yourself to the answer. Will it be instant? No, but while you practice, you get used to the idea of leading yourself and eventually you'll be able to answer tough questions like this that you haven't seen before correctly. That's the point. So here we go, gang. We have two to the power of X equals 64. So we know that exponents mean you're gonna multiply that number by itself however many times. So if we had two to the power of one, well, that would just be a single two. If we had two to the power of two, well, that would be two times two. Because again, two multiplied by itself twice, right there, and then that would be four, right? So we started off with two, then we got four, Okay, watch this. Two to the power of three is not gonna be six. <laughs> it's gonna be eight. Because you're gonna have two times two times two. Three times. You see that the power is three? You see it listed three times. So since two times two is four, multiply that by two again, and you get eight. So if you see where I'm coming from with this, go ahead and pause the video right now and try the rest of the problem out and see what happens. Because as we keep going, this is really just a matter of understanding exponents. And when you keep going, all you're doing is multiplying another two. So you could write two times two times two, and then another two at the end, but we already know that these three twos are gonna be eight. So you're basically saying eight times two, and that's 16. And you keep going, two to the power of five. That's gonna be 16 times two, and that'll be 32. So notice the patterns that are happening here. All we're doing is multiplying another two, another two, another two. Once you get this down, you can get a problem like this done in 30 seconds. But obviously we have to go through the motions, right? So here we go, two to the power of six, what would that be? Well, that'd be 32 times another two. And guess what? That right there, my friends, 64. And there it is, boom. So we see that two to the power of six is what gives us 64, and that's what makes the answer A. So remember my party people, we have free classes every single week, every single week, once a week for two hours, typically going over math. And so this week, we are gonna be going over money word problems tomorrow on February 15th, that's Tuesday. So go ahead again, check out the link in the description of this video to get the registration for free and get a free practice test with video solutions. That way you can keep raising your score nice and easy. And so after this uh, slide, you know, after this here, you're also gonna see details about my ASVAB All Access program. That program is how my students raise their scores and get the jobs they want. And if you wanna check that out, go ahead. If you need the extra help, that personalized help, I can give it to you for the most affordable price you'll ever find. So with that said, my party people, I hope to see you in the next class, and let's taste the ASVAB. Cheers.